Greetings loved ones and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what I got for Christmas haul. Hell yes brothers, 2020 is coming to an end, fucking finally. And I have so many things to show you, I'm so happy, I'm so elated, so many things have happened over this holiday season. I think that this is like my eighth year doing a what I got for Christmas haul. I'm only really saying that though because I'm pretty sure that I have been doing these hauls the same amount of time that I've been doing vlogmas and this past year was my eighth year of doing vlogmas. So that's why I'm saying that. Anyways, Vlogmas has come to a close. We are here in Virginia at Finley's family's house still, staying on the top level of the barn in the rec room. So that's why I have a little bit of a switch up in here. I filmed my What I Got for Christmas 2019 up here too though. And honestly, I just love this room. It's so cute and just very my aesthetic with all the wood. But if you hear any creaky noises or wind or anything of the sort, you know why. We're in a creaky barn, okay? But I just wanna say, huge news, if you didn't watch Vlogmas, your girl is engaged, your girl is a fiance. <laughs> Oh, the song. I am just over the moon, as you can probably tell. This is Finley's great-grandmother, Gigi, who passed away at the ripe age of 101 last year. This was her ring she gave to Finley's mother on his mom's 18th birthday, which was the same year that she met Finley's dad. And it's just been in the fam ever since. And it's just emeralds and diamonds and has a gold band. And you know I love my gold jewelry, baby. And honestly, go and watch Vlogmas Day 20 when this actually happened it was I knew that it was going to happen like while we were home I knew that he would probably propose I just didn't think it would happen on Christmas Eve Eve which is like such a fun day in my family personally we just always have had like Christmas Eve Eve traditions so it's fun that I get to celebrate my engagement anniversary on that day now um, and also just like Christmas right after was so cute and just celebrating and just thank you for all of the love that you guys have been sending me I will say I'm kind of getting sick of being like go and watch this on my vlog channel and having the vlog separate from just this so I think that I'm probably in the new year going to like combine my vlog and main channels but I just want to like say that here first off and what are my other announcements oh I was saying I thought that this was like my Christmas present from Finley because he was hinting at some things over the past few months and that's why I was kind of like expecting it to happen um, but it actually wasn't his big Christmas present for me he was like no they're completely two separate days the engagement is a separate thing I'm not just gonna like give you the ring and be like Merry Christmas, you know, you got the ring I mean I could but I didn't <laughs> and so I just wanted to show you guys first off starting off this haul my big gift from Mr. Finley I didn't clasp it closed after I did the thumbnail taking but he gave me a viola I've been telling him that I really want to learn how to play a string instrument and I settled on the viola this was on my Christmas list he apparently told my whole family don't give her money for a viola don't give her a gift card for one and don't buy her one because I'm getting her one and he actually got this kind of like more secondhand because this was being rented out he got it in Washington DC and got it from like a rental place and now it's living its forever home with me so she is used, she is gorgeous, and she will be a good instrument for me to start learning on because this has a freaking curve, brothers. A huge learning curve. So he also got me six months of lessons. So very excited for this new experience in my 2021. I'm gonna be a new fucking woman. You'll see the theme over the course of this haul of just new hobbies for your girl to start. And it was so funny. You guys might have heard Alex Delilah's husband, Finley's brother-in-law, say this when I was filming on Christmas day, like opening presents. He goes, yeah, cause Megan doesn't already have enough to do. <laughs> And I was like, oh brother, you are right. But my time management will have to get better in 2021 to make room for all of my new hobbies, specifically my viola. But you know what my mom told me, and this is, I haven't even told the vlog or anybody this at all, but apparently my Grammy is classically trained and used to play in the Boston Symphony, but she was violin trained. And so was my Auntie Tina. My Auntie Tina is also trained in violin. So like, sure it's a different instrument, but like same old, same old thing. Thing, you know still a string instrument so maybe it runs in the blood of playing string instruments and like I didn't know that you know so anyways I'm gonna stop blabbing I'm gonna get into after just showing my 
my big gift. I'm gonna get into my stocking stuffers. But before I get into this haul, I feel like every year I make this disclaimer and people are like, you don't have to like say that, you know? But I feel like I have to say this. I am so grateful. This was an insane year. There was a lot that happened, but I'm just happy that we even got to come home at all to see Finley's family, let alone have like a normal Christmas with them. You know what I mean? And I'm just, ugh, I am over the moon. I am so happy. I'm so grateful for everything that I received. And I just wanted to say that before we get into it. I'm gonna start with my stocking stuffers, okay? So, your girl got a little lemon squeezer and his mom was telling me, you know, this lemon squeezer is very good because you can squeeze it at the top and then you can keep a little cut lemon at the bottom. It's kind of like a little keep jar, keep cup at the bottom. And I actually broke the handle off of my lemon squeezer, so that was incredible. And then we also got this. Finley told me that I need to show this because this was in his stocking. But um, this is a dish brush, a bottle brush, and apparently <laughs> Finley's dad has been using these all year and is like obsessed with the style specifically of bottle brush and he ordered like seven of them. And so his mom put them in everybody's stocking this year. And I can't wait to get my dish scrub on with this bottle brush. It's not a toilet brush, okay? It looks like one, but it's not. We also got new kitchen shears because Finley lost our kitchen shears somewhere in the pig pasture. He was like using them to like cut string or something. I never saw them again. I don't know where they went, but this is my new pair of kitchen shears. We actually got two pairs. So even if we lose the other ones in the pig pasture again, your girl will have another pair. Also, I got rope incense. I've never even heard of this in my life. This was made in Nepal and it's Himalayan rope incense from Tibetan Art Crafts Imports. And it's kind of sandalwood scented apparently, but if you guys know how to light this, let me know. I assume you just light the end and kind of just like drape it over something. Like, what is the fire safe way to do this? Like I'm, ooh, you guys know after 2020, I'm, I'm very fire cautious, okay? So I'll just say that. And then I also got a pair of panties in my stocking from Evelyn Bobby. Do you wanna see them? I'll, I'll show them to you. Okay, hold on, ready, ready? Brace yourselves, there it is. <laughs> this is my first year getting a pair of panties in my stocking, but you can never have too many of those no-show panties, baby. So, comes in a little carrying bag, just great. It's just great. And then I also got a chocolate bar, but I already ate it, so I'm not gonna show it. Anyways, stockings aside, let's get into the big gifts. Aside from Miss Viola, let me just pick up what I already have sitting here at the top. I was wearing these yesterday, so they're no longer in their cardboard that says where they're from. So I'll have to either find out from Delilah and put them on the screen because I got these from Finley's sister, Delilah. Um, they are aquamarine gold little earrings. There we go, I think that's a little bit more focused. And I've been wearing these in my second hole here. So like I'll have like a big you know, piece up here and then a little um, aquamarine in the second hole. They're very nice. I love them. Thank you, Delilah. Very super cute. We used to have a tradition of getting each other earrings for any time that we were exchanging gifts, me and Finley's sisters. So we continue the tradition. I didn't get them earrings this year though. I kind of switched it up a little bit, but the tradition lives on with Delilah and I live for it. All right, let's get into some kitchenware. Woo! Finley's mom actually has an art studio and she does sculptures, she does pottery. She gave us some nice pottery last year from her. And this year she gave us this gorgeous serving plate darlings. The light on it, I'm trying to get it like catching at the right time. It's like greenish bluish glaze with like a giant leaf kind of pattern down the middle, but like we could put some cheeses on here, perhaps we could put some kind of a cracker or maybe like a loaf of seitan or something like that. And every year when I get gifted pottery from his mom, it's just like the sweetest gift in the entire world, you know, because I mean, how could you not love something like that? Somebody put their blood, sweat and tears into a gift for you and it's just, oh, it's truly thrilling. And she also got us this little piece. She also said like, maybe you could put some kind of a cheese on here or something like that. It's supposed to be just like a long serving platter, but it has a long nosed dachshund on it. And I don't know if you guys can tell with the glaze up here, very faintly at the top, it says Rue for you, because we have a dachshund named Rue. 
and it's so fucking cute. I love this little like long tile design. Also last year for Christmas, she gave us like long nosed dachshund coffee mugs. And this is like the same glaze and kind of like a similar theme, you know? So it's gonna be just absolutely incredible. All right, next was a gift from Finley's dad, Chris. I believe these bowls were made by the sculptor Catherine White, if I'm wrong. I'll put it on the screen. But I got these deep bowls, and this was actually something that, I mean, I just told Finley's family that I needed. I don't have any good bowls, good serving bowls, just good looking bowls. All of mine are from Target Threshold line, and they're cracking. They're genuinely not doing well. So I needed a little bit of an upgrade. And these ones are like so deep, kind of like ramen bowls almost. And I just love the glaze on them. They're just fantastic. Look at those. Check those baddies out. We got a third one here. And then next, I have some more kitchenware in here. Speaking of good serving bowls, I got this good serving, it's kind of Dutch oven style, but it's like a big serving bowl with a top that has a nice little like gold handle at the top and gold trimming all around. This was from Finley's brother to me. We love her work. I'm actually obsessed with this design. This is the Wedgwood Renaissance Gold design. It's so good. I'm absolutely in love with that. I just can't, I can't with everything I got this year. You know, the best gifts are things that you really need. And I really needed some good ways to serve some delicious food. I'm just pushing everything to the side over here. All right, next gift is from Finley's grandmother. It is a pink, fluffy, really nice blanket, really fluffy on this side, and then kind of like more, even just as soft and fluffy on the other side, but a little less fluff, a little more soft. And I think she got this from like Barnes & Noble. I didn't even know that Barnes & Noble sold blankets, but we love her work. And now I'm just gonna bring up this little gift bag of goodies over here. There's some things in here. This was also a gift from Finley's dad. He knows I love to cook and he said, I'm gonna get you some nice olive oil. I normally just buy my olive oil in like bulk from Winco, but this is like, you know, with like a baguette situation, this would just be, whew, yeah. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, but it's a gorgeous bottle. When I was taking this out of the box, I was like, is this a bottle of wine? <laughs> Cause it looks like it. Oh, and then I forgot to show this when I was talking about the viola, but this is a collapsible shoulder rest from Kun, K-U-N, and Finley got me this for the viola. And then also what Mr. Finley got me was this Catan card box. And as you can see on the side here, you can like organize your cards as you play and then it also kind of roll or like folds out a little bit so you can like put the dice in there and throw the dice in and i'm the type of person when i'm playing a card game especially i'm always organizing the stacks of cards and so he knows this and he got me this so i can just keep them all nice and tidy in my little box i love Catan; it's one of my favorite board games i'm obsessed so very on brand gift for me and speaking of mr finley he also got me this shirt from our friend Kathy. So our friend Kathy, she majored in sustainable fashion at school, and then she started this company called Anti-Clothing Supply Co. And she thrifts these like base t-shirts and then thrifts a bunch of fabric, cuts them up, sews them on. And I was actually getting a lot of questions in my you know, unboxing presents video on Christmas day when we were talking about these. I was getting a lot of questions about her site and where to find them. I'll link her website down below so you guys can get your hands on these. Finley got me the yellow one and then he got his sister some too in different colors. And he also got a white one for himself that I have also been wearing. So it's a gift that keeps on giving. Okay, next. This is my next hobby of 2021. I will be wearing this forest green beanie while doing that. This is a gift from Finley's brother-in-law, Alex. And I told him this is the only beanie color I don't own is the forest green and I've been wanting this. So this is absolutely stunning, perfect, all the good things. But what he got me is a needlepoint project and I've never needlepointed before, but I'm looking forward to doing this in the new year. The design says pigs are big. <laughs> And it's such a cute little piggy. And then this is just all of like the thread and scissors in this bag. But this is just to keep it all flat and safe so that I don't distort the um, design on the way home. And then Finley's mom also got me, speaking of new hobbies, a basket weaving kit made from sustainable materials. This is a traditional beginner's kit from Basket Weaving 101, I think is the brand. And the style of the design is Beth's Market Basket. And it comes with a little like how-to on how to weave the basket, 
just breaking it all down. And Finley, when I opened this, he was like, I'm so excited to do that with you. I've always wanted to learn how to do that. So we will be weaving a basket in 2021 and I cannot wait. And then next here, I have a little gift from Miss Georgina, Finley's little sister. And it's this gorgeous honey pot, darling. Just wait and see. Oh my God, my darlings. I can't believe it. I mean, look at this. It's a glass honey pot and I love something where you can see the contents of what's actually inside because we do have a honeypot little teddy bear at home but he's not see-through so you can't really tell what's in there you know what i mean but this is so stunning it has like a silver bee pollinating a flower on the spoon and it has a little bee on the top and everything and it's just so pretty it's gonna look so good in our kitchen i just i can't freaking wait to set this bad boy out i can't wait and then now we're getting down to the last two gifts okay this is a gift from his mom, Lilla, and it's a Nepalese prayer rug that she got while traveling. And I think that this is the most stunning thing I have ever seen in my life, darlings. I think I'm going to put this underneath my altar at home and it's just so beautiful. Delilah and I both got these and I just love the coloring so much, the reds and the pinks. It was designed to look like a sunset. And then my final gift I got this year was a handmade card from Georgina. And I honestly cried when I opened this gift. She drew me and Finley taking our engagement photos and then Larry and Rue down here at the bottom with like sunflowers and watercolor and everything. And it was just such a sweet handmade gift. I couldn't stop crying when I was reading this. I made Finley read it out loud to his family, but I think that I'm in the place now where I can read it. Merry Christmas, Megan. Congratulations on your engagement. We are so excited to welcome you into the family and your positive energy will be such a great addition. I'm sorry my drawing skills aren't that good, but the people on the card are you and Finley. <laughs> Lots of love, XOXO, Georgina. <laughs> and I told her we're gonna frame this when we get home. Like it's just so pretty and cute and thoughtful and handmade gifts make my heart go boom, okay? They really do and I absolutely lost it upon opening this. So I'm keeping it safe and sound in its little sleeve until we can get home and frame this bad boy. And I just can't believe it. I had an extra special Christmas. I actually had two Christmases. My mom very kindly sent my gifts to my house in Oregon. So on Vlogmas day 15, I opened those presents the night before we left for our cross country road trip back here to Virginia to visit Finley's family for the holidays. And if you would like to see everything that my mom and my sister and everybody got me, you can go and watch that vlog which I will link on the screen. I got like a vacuum and I got slippers and you can just go watch the vlog. It was just absolutely incredible. But I am truly in awe at just this Christmas and the kindness of people in Finley's family who are now going to be part of my family. And I just can't believe it. I love life. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is going to be my last upload of 2020 on here. And then we're going to get into our new year stuff when I'm back home from our holiday road trip. And I just wanted to share everything with you guys. This is kind of a little tradition of mine just to come on and share all of this with you and do a cutie little haul. So I hope you guys had a cutie little Christmas. And even if you didn't, I hope that you got through it okay. I love you guys so much and I hope that you have a very happy new year, a safe, healthy one that is, and I'll just talk to you in 2021, okay? Stay smiling. Bye guys.